NASA telescope will be able to reveal surface features and vegetation on alien exoplanets. Their goal is to directly image a habitable Earth-like exoplanet within our stellar neighborhood. Have you ever wondered what exoplanets outside our solar system look like? We've seen countless artist depictions, but imagine seeing the actual planet, its colors, atmosphere, continental structures, and even its vegetation, let alone if there are any constructions, artifacts on the surface. We've seen many. Now NASA announces this week that they're funding research for just such an endeavor, a conceptual telescope called a Solar Gravitational Lens, SGL, and that would allow us to observe distant alien worlds with astonishing resolution. The project's goal, according to NASA's description, is to directly image a habitable Earth-like exoplanet within our stellar neighborhood with a resolution of about 25 kilometers, which is enough to see surface features and signs of habitability, they said. The new announcement of the SGL follows Phase 1 and 2, funding by NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts NIAC program. Slava Turishev, a physicist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory who's written about the study uh, and studied such technology, describes how the SGL works. She said, in the strong interface region of the SGL, this light is greatly amplified, forming the Einstein ring around the sun, representing a distorted image of the extended source. This is not the only large-scale astronomical endeavor by NASA that could yield unbelievable new data on alien worlds. The James Webb Space Telescope, when it, launched in two, when it will launch, it launches in 2021, will be capable of seeing planets in high contrast mid-infrared range that are 10 million to 100 million times fainter than we can currently image. The Webb Telescope will also study the atmospheres of these planets and look for traces of oxygen and other techno signatures of industrial gases. The new phases of the SGL research provided three critical innovations. According to NASA, they have, one, proven the feasibility of high-resolution multiplex imaging of a habitable exoplanet, two, devise a swarm architecture for small sat to explore the interstellar medium, and three, designed the low-cost solar array propulsion to achieve the exit velocity from the solar system needed for the mission. The remaining technological hurdle is devising a way to ferry a meter-class telescope with a solar chronograph to a great distance from the sun. Slava Turiez, physicist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, suggests the solution may be deploying a swarm architecture for small sats powered by solar sails that can image multiple planets and moons of an exosolar system simultaneously. While it could be many years until we begin to receive data and images from these projects, it's exciting to know that in our lifetime, we will likely see the surface features of alien exoplanets and be able to observe their vegetation patterns. And who knows, we may even pick up atmospheric traces or signs of habitability that tell us who lives there. This is by Jake Anderson, The Mind Unleashed. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece and Capota, 
and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.